Time, ladies and gentlemen, for the first of two heavyweight semifinals scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Hailing from the European seaboard of Russia, he comes to Denmark for his glory debut. He is Karir Kornilov. Twenty-four years old, Kirill Kornilov from St. Petersburg, Russia. Seven and one record with three knockouts. Kornilov is really good at keeping distance, and what I really like about him and his strength is in his boxing. He likes to move his head, and he's got good footwork and distance. You'll see him slip off and counter himself. This man burst onto the glory stage, winning four of his first five glory starts. He is Jafar Wilmes. Number two ranked light, or heavyweight, excuse me, Jafar Wilmes, 29, six and one, has eight knockouts. He comes into this tournament as the favorite to win it all. Jafar is very fun to watch. He uses a tight defense to get inside to unload big low kicks and big combinations. He feels he won the contend tur tournament last time at Denver 24, so he has a lot to prove tonight if he wants his shot at Rico Verhoeven. Jafar Wilness won seven out of his last 10 as we check out the numbers for our first heavyweight semifinal. Jafar Wilness is six years older than Kornilov. Their height and reach identical, but the Dutchman Wilness weighed in 23 pounds heavier. These are the international glory rules. Glory kickboxing is the most action-packed fight sport on the planet. Legal strikes are punches, including spinning back fists, kicks, and knees. Regular bouts are three rounds. Championship bouts are five. And each round is three minutes of non-stop action. Three judges score with the 10-point must scoring system. Outfight your opponent for a 10-9. Knock them down for a 10-8. In a normal bout or a tournament final, three knockdowns in one round or four in the entire bout, and the fight is over by TKO. In a tournament semi, two knockdowns in one round or three in the entire bout, and it's all over. Or you can just make it simple and knock your opponent out. Points may be deducted for fouls. Sweeps, elbows, and grappling are not allowed. Clinching is okay if you immediately follow up with a knee. Otherwise, the referee will step in. Glory rules are designed to bring nonstop, fast-paced, stand-up action. To find out more, go to glorykickboxing.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this first of two semifinals once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this Russian big man brings a young kickboxing record of seven wins against just one loss. He stands six feet five inches tall, 1.95 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 226 pounds, 102.5 kilos. Fighting tonight out of St. Petersburg, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Kirill Kornilov. His opponent last appeared at Glory 24 Denver and is a two-time heavyweight champion. His record, 29 wins with six losses, one bout scored even, eight of those wins coming by knockout. He too stands six feet five inches tall, 1.95 meters, and weighed in at 249 and one half pounds, 113.3 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands and ranked number two in the Glory World Rankings, he is Jafar Wilner. Your referee in charge of the glory ring is Paul Nichols. Guys. You understand the rules that you're fighting to? Take yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Touch gloves, break. 
Strap yourselves in because the big boys are ready to throw down. Heavyweight contender tournament semifinal number one. Jafar Wilness in the white gloves and Kirill Kornilov in the black. The winner earns a title shot versus champion Rico Verhoeven at the end of the night. Remember, in the semifinals, two knockdowns right. in a round three and about will equal a TKO. Right away, Kornilov showing some speed in those hands. You see Jafar already using that head shield defense to get inside of Kornilov. That's where he's going to throw his big punch and kick combinations. Kornilov accepted this fight on only three weeks' notice. This is his first time participating in a four-man heavyweight Break. contenders tournament. Well, he only has eight professional fights on his record versus Break. the 36 of Wilness. Break. Wellness, as we said, weighed in heavier than Kornilov, who's going to want to use his speed Break. and quick hands to do some damage. Break. He needs to stay away from the corners and the ropes, though. That's Jafar's strategy. Use his shield, get the opponent against the ropes to unload. Solid right hand from Kornilov. Break! Remember, in glory, if the fighters clinch, you can immediately strike with a knee. Oh, big right, speaking of strikes, from Jafar Wilness. He's waiting for something. He's waiting to set up his power. When he's ready, he's gonna unload, just like he did with that right hand. Jafar Wilness, the much more experienced fighter. Break! Break! And the big man tumbles down that what? will not count as a knockdown, only a slip. One minute to go here in round number one, scheduled for three. Kornilov's Break. using those knees, which is a good strategy. If Wilness is going to keep walking forward like that, using the punches to knees is a very good strategy. See if he continues with that. Wants to get out of the corner, Watch that's elbow. for sure. Not lean with elbow. Referee Paul Nichols warns Kornilov Break. about the elbows. Break. No elbow strikes Break. in glory. It looks like the right hand of Jafar that's being the best weapon for him. I'd like to see him use his low kicks. And now Kornilov teeing off on Wilness. <laughs> Kornilov's landing more. He might, his back might be on the ropes, but he's landing more there. The big Break. difference is the power of Jafar with those two big right hands. Break! Break. First round of this heavyweight contender tournament semifinal is in the books and Nice, impressive performance so far by Karel Kornilov. Kornilov's doing, Kornilov's doing a good job at, you know, even though his back's against the rope, he's staying active. He can't just sit there and being a standing target. But Jafar is landing, finding that right hand. So he needs to make sure he keeps his elbows together and keep tight from those straight punches. Because those big right hands are going to add up. Since there were no knockdowns in that round, we move to the other criteria of damage. Joseph Valtellini, who'd you give that first round to? Well, you got the volume of Kornilov, but I think the damage might have to go to Wilness with those two big right hands. Round two underway. Jafar Wilness with the white gloves and Kirill Kornilov in the black. And overhand right from Wilness gets break. through. Break, break. Break. That right hand's landing really well, though. He needs to follow with that left hook and maybe his low kick. Kornilov very light on his feet, using some movement. But Jafar Wilness' style is just to keep moving forward. Kornilov right. prefers the fight to be on the outside. He's really good at you know, slipping his head off of jabs and countering, but Wilness knows he can't fight that fight with him, and he needs to keep him against the ropes. 
Well, that's made an interesting point in the fighter meetings. He called Kornilov a dirty fighter. He's going to make him punish. He said his game plan is to keep pressuring him. And some big shots from Jafar landed here as we approach two minutes in round number two. Kornilov needs to keep his hands up. If he keeps eating those right hands of Wilness, it's going to be a short night for him. Very true. What Wilness is doing, he's changing the angle of the right hand. Sometimes it comes straight, sometimes he's throwing it as an overhand right. Wicked right hook just missed from Jafar Wilness. I would like to see Wilness counterpunch a little bit more, maybe block a few off the shield and come right away with some big power punches. These guys tend to be boxing a lot more than using their legs. Um, in a lot of Wilness's other fights, we see him kick a little bit more, but it could be a strategy because two fights in one night with banged up shins and knees and ankles, he needs to be careful. Wilness landed a counter hook as we check out the strikes landed so far. Dominating by Wilness, 36-18. One minute to go in round number two. And a rocking body shot from Wilness. That's beautiful. I was just going to call that. If he's going to throw that left hook to the liver like that, he needs to follow with an overhand right. Or the reverse. Throw the overhand right and then throw that left hook to the liver. The youngster, 24-year-old Kirill Kornilov. Right. That's a fraction of the experience that Jafar Wilness does, but took this fight on short notice, knowing he has got a huge opportunity here in glory. Wilness staying tight, using body-body head attacks. Very good strategy. Usually, you like to throw a nice round kick off of that. Could be saving his shins or saving his energy. Saving it because if you win this fight, your work is not done. You will move on to the heavyweight finals later tonight. I like that uppercut hook he's following with. Well, the strategy usually, Joseph, in these tournaments is to get in and get out. But here we are in our first semifinals, moving into the third round. Kornilov only has eight fights, so he's doing a good job at staying in there and, and gaining experience here. I still think he needs to make sure he stays tight defensively and make sure he puts a little bit of snap behind those punches if he wants to slow Wilness down. Two rounds down, how do you have it scored? 2-0 uh, for Wilness. I think Kornilov needs to do something here to, to steal this fight. Glory 29 from Copenhagen. Ron Kruk and Joseph Baltolini here ringside for this semifinal number one in the heavyweight contender tournament between Wilness and Kornilov. Wilness can't coast, coast this fight. The first round, you know, a judge could have given that first round to Kornilov, so I still think he needs to, to come out and perform in this third right. round. It can be a dangerous strategy. You feel you're winning the fight. You do want to save yourself for that third fight, or the second fight of the night. But you can get caught too, and then you're not even moving on to the finals. Sometimes people mistake forward walking and defense like that as um, aggression, but Kornilov is continually throwing, so he needs to kind of make sure Wilness keeps active. It's important. Great! Wilness needs to counterpunch, though. Those hands of Kornilov are really low. After he blocks a few off that arm, he needs to fire out with some hooks of his own. Clinch and referee Paul Nichols separates him. Break. Break. Pace here in the third and final round, slowing down. Break. Danish 
fans here at the Forum Copenhagen cheering on the both heavyweights. Great crowd here. Extremely knowledgeable kickboxing fans here in Denmark. Jafar just landed a good left hook there. I think he needs to keep with that left hook. He just needs to stay active, in my opinion, if he wants to win this round. But if he thinks he's winning these two rounds, he might coast it out. One minute to go here in round three. Maybe it's the experience of Wilness that you can see taking over. He keeps walking him down, landing his hooks and kicks. And defensively blocking a lot of shots, not taking much damage. Break! Break. Kornilov needs to do something spectacular here as we have reached 30 seconds to go in round three. Break. We haven't seen that right hand from Wilness land in the last little bit. Could be, he's looking really tired here. Kornilov came in as the massive underdog in this fight. Again, Jafar Wilness is the favorite to win this contender's tournament. That's going to do it for this first semi-final. The decision is coming up. Well, a very interested man there, although he's probably checking out social media right now, is the heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven, of course, the winner of our heavyweight contenders finals here today, will meet Rico Verhoeven at some point. And speaking of title fights, there is the welterweight champion, Nikki the Natural Holskin, arriving at the Copenhagen Forum earlier today to defend his welterweight title for a second time. The challenger is also in the house. Arriving earlier, Johan Congolo from Switzerland. He's looking to claim glory gold. No finish here in our first semifinal, but good action between Wilness and Kornilov. Action packed way to kick off Glory 29 Copenhagen. Between Jafar Wilness and Kirill Kornilov, and here are the highlights. Both of these guys just went into the pocket and started exchanging big punches. In the earlier rounds, it was the right hand of Wilness that was doing the damage. Again, continuing to walk and cut the ring off against Kornilov and just throw big punches. But Kornilov continued to throw right back, which made it for a really exciting fight. In the third round, both guys seemed to slow down, but again, Jafar kept coming forward and kept throwing punches. The final stats here for the first semi-final. Really, Jafar Wilness more accurate with his percentage of kicks and punches in knees. The veteran really took it to the young Kornilov. The judges' scorecards have been turned in. So let's get the official decision. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28. A unanimous decision, all for your winner, Jafar Wilness, who now advances into the tournament finals.